morning children welcome to the video in this video we are going to discuss the art integrated project so all of you know that for your holiday homework you are going to do the art integrated project okay so in this video we are going to discuss the art integrated project of science the topics in this video we are going to discuss it and how you can represent those topic with the help of what kind of art okay so as you all know that this topic this particular art integrated project is of interdisciplinary subject that is two subject is included in this that is science and computer so i am just going to explain to all of you that what are the topics and how you can represent those topic and what are the art art integration that you can include in those representation of those what is art integrated learning art integrated learning is a teaching learning model which is based on learning through the arts and with the art it is a process where art becomes the medium of teaching learning a key to understand concept within any subject of the curriculum so what is art integrated project we basically do what we combine art with any subject okay we combine art with any form of learning and we learn a thing or you can see we learn a concept okay so the medium is art okay to understand a particular topic or you can say to understand a particular concept the medium that we are going to use is art okay art can be of any form it can be visual art me visual art means the things that you can see it can be in 3d form 3d form means you uh, you make that particular thing and you understand about the different part of that particular thing okay so art can be in any form the general form of art that we all know are dancing music okay painting these are the general form of art that we know but there are various kind of arts and how we are going to use that art in explaining or understanding our concept we are going to discuss it now okay so the topic uh, first of all let's discuss some important instructions before you do the uh, topics okay so student uh, students your topic for science is you have three topics okay and uh, from those three topics you only have to do one okay choose whatever topic you feel like that what are the resources that are available at your home and you think that this is the topic that i can represent with art in a better way you choose that topic okay so the first topic is make a ppt on any two communicable and or non communicable diseases also write its prevention okay so what you have to do in this is you have to make ppt okay so first of all before making ppt you have to make uh, this thing in mind that the ppt should only include 5 to 6 slides not more than 5 to 6 slides you can reduce the slides also but the slides number of slides cannot be extend extended from 6 okay you should not include more slides than 6 okay so try to make your ppt more representative try to include more pictures in the uh, ppt so how you can make a ppt how what are the things that you should remember while making a ppt for that you can watch the video of your computer ma'am that is preeti gusai ma'am okay ma'am have already uploaded the video of it so if you want to learn that how you can make ppt in your phone so you can go through that video okay so what you have to do in the ppt i am just going to tell all of you that how to make a ppt you can go there and check ma'am's video okay so your ppt should not include more than 5 to 6 slides okay and in your ppt what you should include is that give the meaning of communicable or non communicable diseases okay suppose if you are taking one communicable disease and uh, the other non communicable disease so include the meaning of both and if you are taking only communicable disease so just include the definition or the meaning of communicable disease and the two diseases that you are taking explain that particular disease okay in the video in the ppt what you include what you have to include 
is the symptoms of the disease okay what are the symptoms of the disease the causes of the disease what are the causes and at the end you should also include that what are the safety measures that we can take to prevent that particular disease okay in this you can uh, um, introduce and uh, uh, show the food items that helps to prevent those disease or the prevention that the basic prevention that is needed for uh, to stop that particular disease okay so if you when you are choosing the topic try to choose the topic that are latest for example you can choose corona virus as you know that this disease is so much uh, you know due to this disease we are facing so much of problem so you can choose this disease also or you can choose different diseases there are lots of diseases that are communicable uh, communicable and non communicable uh, com communicable so according to your interest you can choose the diseases what you have to uh, make sure is that your ppt should not include more than 6 slides okay you can reduce the number of slides but it should not extend extend okay the ppt should not extend and the first page of your ppt should have the name of school and the subjects also okay and in this communicable and non communicable disease you have to just choose two communicable or two non communicable disease or you can choose one one of each that is according to your interest okay so this is the first topic the topic is make a ppt on any two communicable and non communicable disease and also write its prevention okay if you are choosing this topic you have to present this topic in ppt form okay no other form is uh, form of uh, presentation is going to be taken only ppt okay the second topic is make paper quilling art by using different food grains so in this what you can do is you can take a paper uh, sheet okay a4 size sheet here i have also mentioned that you can you, you have to use only a4 size paper or you can also use chart paper but the size of the chart paper should not be big okay try to cut the chart paper in the a4 size or little bit more if you want to so in this what you can do is you can use different kind of pulses rice and other grains okay and you can make a see in this first photo i have all uh, shown you that how you can do it here here it is made a uh, the hen right this is hen so for it they have used different type of pulses right this is rajma this is the rice okay they have used different type of grains and they have represented this particular drawing so you can choose any particular drawing if you want to represent it in the form of art you can choose any kind of drawing and by using the pulses or the grains or the rice you can you can uh, just you have to stick those particular form rice and grains on that sheet and make a art out of it okay or either you can do this by using grains and all or you can also make paper quilling paper quilling is this you can see this picture here in this picture what they have done this is a crop right so here they have presented it with the help of papers right they have folded the paper to make it or you can say look like these crops okay so you can either use paper quilling method or you can also use the other method that is you can use different kind of grains pulses rice or other food item and you can make out a uh, uh, art out of it okay so when you are going to do this if you are going to choose this topic what you have to do is you have to do it in a a4 size sheet and in that sheet what you have to do is you have to stick those pulses or grains with the help of your that uh, glue okay so if you are doing this topic you can do it in either way you don't have to do both okay try if you are doing the grain parts if you are doing uh, try in making a drawing out with the help of grains then you can uh, do this part and if you want to represent the uh, different kind of food with the help of uh, quilling you can do that okay so this is your second topic for the homework okay and the third topic is 
the third topic is that make a working model on food and nutrition so from your chapter first and second you can choose any topic whatever topic that you wish to choose i have also mentioned here some topic normal topics you can choose other topics also food uh, food pyramid balanced diet working wheel and deficiency disease there are lots more a lot of more different topics you want to choose if you want to choose you can choose other topics also so here how you can make a food pyramid i have shown here that with the help of chart paper they have folded the chart paper and created a model of the balanced uh, the food pyramid okay they have uh, they have included here the carbohydrates the vitamin and minerals then protein and at the end they have shown the uh, the fat part so with the help of model you can also represent your work okay this is also a kind of art where you are just explaining your top and you are representing your topic with the help of models so your model can be a working model or it can be just a model okay that is up to you that is all your own creativity so you can use a food pyramid so this is a picture of food pyramid you can do it in this way or if you like you can do it in other ways also the model how to make a model is totally up to you but try to Uh, make your model with the help of the resources that you have at home okay the second is balanced diet pyramid so here i have shown the picture of balanced diet pyramid so what they have done is that they have pasted the uh, cardboard uh, chart paper on a cardboard and here they have shown the per uh, the bal uh, the wheel okay the balanced diet wheel and here moving the wheel with the moving of wheel they are showing that if this particular picture is coming so this is the picture of grains okay and what are the components in the uh, these that, that is also mentioned here so you can either do it by making working models okay making working model of your art integrated project or you can make simple models of the topic the topic you are going to choose must relate to food and nutrition okay i have already mentioned here three topics for the model you have to use any one if you want to you can either choose food pyramid you can choose balanced diet working wheel deficiency disease there are two to three more topics in your chapter if you want to use that particular topic you can you are free to use that topic okay so try to make your model with the resources that you have at home okay and if you are going to make a model so don't make it extra large or don't make it extra small okay try to create the model in a medium size so that it is visible to others also okay so here students so in from these three topics you have to do only one topic so according to your interest according to your creativity choose your topic and try to represent your topic in the best possible way best creative way that you have okay so i hope all of you have understood that what are the topics and how you can include all these topics with uh, how you can represent all these topic with the help of art okay you can create drawings with the grains in the second topic you can create model with the help of different uh, resources that you have at home and either if you want to make a ppt you are free to make the ppt you just have to choose one topic out of all the topics okay so i hope all of you have understood that what are the uh, representative things that you can do in the, your projects okay art integrated project i hope uh, it is clear to you all thank you so much students